Hello everyone. We are in the special series which is dedicated to riskometer or understanding risk level of a product. Before that, I would like to welcome you all in the special series by BSC IPF. When we are talking and discussing about a topic which is in personal finance and it is a last level of our discussion or the last step of our discussion while choosing the financial product that we should understand the risk profiling first for that you need to take help of financial advisor understanding the risk appetite and then considering or trying to correlate our risk profile with the risk risk level of that specific product is most fine most important and vital thing once we are able to correlate the things in a proper way then we will be able to take decision in a right direction and that is what the motto of bsipf and sebi because they took this initiative and they are bringing such kind of sessions for you in this way we were talking about the riskometer in last session we understood the methodology or the basic operations behind it and today with one example we will try to see how a riskometer works for equity funds here we are with one example let us say a uh, mutual fund is there which is having 10 securities uh, each one is having the weightage of 10% uh, a to j a b c d e f g h i j uh, h is ipo and j is cash so uh, apart from these two uh, a is a large cap b is a large cap then g is a large cap then j is a cash yes we talked about it i is a small cap so uh, this is a market cap then volatility uh, 2.5 it is a highest volatile stock then impact cost 2.5 illiquid so uh, we have seen in last session that for m cap uh, if it is large cap then five number is assigned mid cap seven number is assigned small cap nine number is assigned then volatility if it is less than one here we can see uh, it is less than one so five number will be assigned if it is more than one then here six number will be assigned then impact cost again some rules and regulations are there if it is less than one five is assigned one to two seven two more than more than two nine so here nine number will come here five number will come <coughs> so on so forth here h is a ipo so while uh, when the stock is coming for a very first time uh, that is IPO. So at that time, how much money is raised uh, under which category, large, middle, small cap, it falls. So according to that, uh, it is decided. So if it is a mid cap, seven number is uh, dedicated to it. And for volatile and imp impact cost, there are some rules which, has, which are mentioned in the say with circular. Uh, you can just uh, do a Google. You have to write the uh, impact cost SEBI 2020 or impact cost SEBI circular. We will get the details of it. So according to this, we will get the numbers. The numbers will be like this. Uh, H765, H was IPO. So it was mid cap 7 and 6 and 5 numbers were assigned. I, uh, J is not there. J was a cash. So one number is assigned to it. Uh, then we will do an average of these numbers. So for M cap 6.6 .6 is the average. For volatility 5.8 is the average. And for impact cost 6.3 is the average. Now we will do the averaging of these three also. When we do the averaging of 6.6, 5.8, 6.3, the average becomes, the average comes 6.3. And we know that if it is more than 5, then it is a very high product. So our product is very high. This is how the numbers and the calculations behind the riskometer. Uh, we should know it. Why? Because we get the idea that how does it work? Uh, that what is the relevance of impact cost or M cap or volatility to our fund and to our returns and the risk we should always understand. So thank you very much for liking our session. We are stopping it here today. Uh, don't forget to write your name along with your email address in the comment section because that is mandatory. And the same topic is there in Hindi and Marathi. You can check out our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Stay tuned.